Hello and good June 2nd, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. Can you believe it's June already? With Christmas just around the corner, I thought it'd be great to one up the stores and start buying before all the hype. How about an endless supply of free gasoline? We're going to show you how to siphon gas. You're going to need, you need a couple items. Quarter inch tubing, drill pumps, wobble hose, barb adapter. Right here is the uh, fitting and then just run it down into a, uh, to the gas here. Bam, there you go. You can see it's flowing. Totally beats the good old days of creating hydrostatic pressure where the fluid velocity along the streamline squared over 2 plus the gravitational acceleration downwards times the elevation in gravity field plus the pressure along the streamline over the fluid density needed to be calculated in order to keep the gasoline out of your mouth. We don't get done the stealing of gas. I don't know whose car this is, but uh, it works. If not gas, how about art? A part of the Young British Artists Movement, known for contemporary conceptual installations that employed for effect, shock and awe, Jake and Dino's Chapman have collaborated with Hitler on a new set of works entitled If Hitler Had Been a Hippie, How Happy Would We Be? The artists anonymously purchased 13 watercolours painted by Hitler for close to $200,000, then painted rainbows and psychedelic love patterns on top of the paintings, and have now put them back on the market for sale. For only a million dollars. They owned the works, so they have the right to improve them, I suppose. Museums have people painting on top of old paintings all the time. It's just that they call it something else. What about vandalizing something that's not yours? And I'm not just talking about vandalizing something that doesn't belong to you. But what about messing with something that doesn't really belong to anyone? Like this poor snail, for instance. Who does this snail belong to anyway? For sure, that snail got owned. Not really quite the same, but remember that gum painter? Well, maybe he was onto something. The gum didn't belong to the city, so he wasn't defacing city property. What about that poor snail? Let's go way back to today, June 2nd. The year was 455. The vandals totally ransacked Rome. And I mean, they totally tore the place apart. Who owns Rome now? Duh, the Romans. Otherwise, would the opposite of taking away be in this case leaving behind? Or would it be considered dumping? What are the laws and social responsibilities for leaving behind these big dolls on the streets of Japan? What about this bull which was left here by the artist even though no one approved or asked for it? What about Mark jinking signs of spring photographs of leaves left on signs which have inspired others to do the same? So put that paint in your tank and soak in it.